52. What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are good. Today we're going to be finally taking a look in more detail at super subs, right? So you can actually go on over here to the general information and look at the definition of how Konami define the player skill that is called super sub, right? So it is a little bit confusing. Obviously, if you're a newcomer, you might not really know what super sub does, but it is a fairly important uh, player skill to have and one of the most important ones if you want to have an impact player. So I've already done an Inzaghi impact player, but this is what Super Sub actually does. It improves the player's abilities when introduced after the second half mark. So a lot of people and a lot of things that I see online are like, oh, it has to be after this point, you know, 70 minutes or whatever. Pretty much a super sub impro improves players' abilities when introduced after the second half mark, as you see here, right? So that means the 46th minute all the way up to the 89th minute, okay? So when you go over here and we take a look at the actual database within the game, if we're going to be buying players, uh, we can actually highlight the players and filter the players by player skill and see some of the top guys that just standard cards actually have super sub, right? Now I'm going to show you a couple of in-game clips as well. Haaland is probably the top one. So most cards of Haaland, Musiala, Rafael Leao, Griezmann, Kiesa, uh, Rodrigo and Ben Yedder, they have super sub. Now you can also put super sub on two cards that you want to use as impact players, right? So for my uh, team here, I've got Robbie Keane, who does have super sub, as you see there, under his player skills on the last line of the left side column. But he also uh, didn't have this when I first got him. So I've actually put this on him as an additional skill. I also have super sub on collar in my other profile. So if you are used to using players that come on, you know, maybe don't start for you, but you use them as impact players, you can either go this route with Sane um, and use players that have super sub in their player skills, or else you can put them on like I did with Robbie Keane. So for example, Cristiano Ronaldo is a good one to use as well if you want to throw it on him. Messi is another one to use. Um, players that you mind always start with, right? but that can come on and have an impact whether you're winning or losing so for attacking players you can have a look here at marco asensio these guys are um from the last pack that we had from the summer transfers pack he does have super sub here and i have four players on my bench that i'm going to show you i'm going to bring on so a lot of the confusion that comes with super subs lads is the fact that there is actual no, actually no visual indication of them, okay? So you're going to see here a comparison between Musiala, who's starting on the bench as a 90 overall AMF. He's got a standard condition. He's got no boost, upgrade, down, downgrade, or anything. The same as Robbie Keane. They've got no boost or upgrade or downgrade to any of their stats, right? You will see with Sané, who is a player of the week. Sané, one of the best hold players in the game. He does, okay? He does have... Um, he does have his form arrow down, right? So we're just going to get into a match here and we're going to show you just at the half, okay? So the players are just walking off and this is the first half done and dusted, right? So all I did for this video to show you because there's no visual clue or indicator, it's more of kind of something that is not visually apparent, right? And I'm going to show you this now as well, right? Because there is a lot of confusion about it. So hopefully this makes sense to you, okay? So we're in the 45th minute and we're just going to skip on a little bit here, ahead here now until we're ready to make the substitutions. So after the second half, um, you can make any substitution that you want. But if you do have super sub, then obviously that is going to uh, activate the super sub. If you start a player with the super sub player skill, it won't activate that. Uh, it has to be brought on from the bench in the second half mark, okay? So I'm going to bring on two at a time here, and we're going to take a look at their stats, okay? So Musiala is coming in, and Asensio is coming in, right? These both have super sub, okay? So the, now the two players have been brought on. We just had a look on the left there. We will see their stats before we brought them on from the bench. And on the right, now that they've been brought onto the pitch, you're going to see with super sub activated, as per the game's definition, what the stats look like. And they're identical. I mean, there is no change to anything. Condition, um, ability, anything visual on the pitch, anything, you know, on the screen. There is no visual indicator uh, of what a super sub actually does, right? So this kind of begs the question, what does super sub actually do, right? Well, I'll show you, right? If you notice, okay, not everything in the game is going to be visually apparent, right? Um, and super sub is one of those things that 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 is kind of like, it's kind of hidden, right? It's kind of hidden as the impact of it is, right? Now, this also pertains to the player form, okay? The old player form um, never used to show the actual upgrade, right? It never showed the actual upgrade that what you would get for your player stats individually. But you can see here, we brought on Musiala as a super sub and the same, I'm just simming games, and Musiala actually sets up the first goal with Ronaldo. 
And you're going to see the second goal that we score as well with the with the one all tie here. We're going to bring on our second two super subs, right? So it seems to be kind of a way of getting that boost to your players' abilities. But this reminds me more so if you are a long-term Pez fan or a veteran of the Konami football franchise Pez, uh, it reminds me of the old mentality stat, right? So there used to be a stat in the old Pez games called mentality, which some players had it, right? Fighting spirit is the same thing. There is no visual aid or visual diagram to say this is exactly what fighting spirit does, except that visually you can see the stamina um, not go down as much, right? But it doesn't say that he's got five extra sprints in him or 10 extra bit of energy or whatever like that, right? All it means is that like I find a lot of the time is that the players perform better when they do have super sub. So I always have my bench with super sub, right? It's kind of one of these kind of Konami-isms, I would say, right? That nothing is really, you know, out in the open about it. So you're going to see here in the 93rd minute, as we have brought on our second batch of super subs, Robbie Keane and Sané, right? To top up from uh, Musiala and Asensio. You can see now that we've got four super subs on the bench, right? And you can see that we do actually get a 93rd minute winner. So it seems to be just that it opens up different kind of variety of chances for you. You can see Robbie getting the goal there with super sub, right? Now, a lot of people will kind of question this and they'll talk about scripting. They'll talk about momentum. They'll talk about DDA. They'll talk about all this sort of stuff, right? But it just seems to be from what the game defines super sub as, it seems to be following along that line of the new skills, phenomenal finishing and stuff like that, um, where they talk about, you know, things that happen uh, where there's no visual kind of comparison as to what they are before and after they activate, okay? So the way I would look at it with this is a lot of these impact players that have super subs are game changer type players. I've already done a video on Inzaghi. It just seems to be that if you have a super sub on or if you've got multiple super subs on, that they do and come in and they play above what their visual stats actually say that they are. Now, this all already kind of is apparent in some players that are able to tackle really high without defensive stats, but it's the same with super subs. They just seem to be able to score, run faster, and be better in the second half when they do have that super sub card activated. So let me know what you think about this. Let me know if I have missed out on anything, if you want more details on anything. But a lot of people do ask me about that super sub. So it just seems to be a non-visual boost to the player's abilities. And they always seem to score goals in the second half if you bring them on late in the second half, especially if you're simming games. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you later.